What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another week. We are in week four of Sneaker Wars. As always, I got my man Drew with me, and we're doing something completely different this week. We have a guest judge because everybody's been commenting, saying, or texting me, at telling me that the past three episodes have all been set up. We're going to bonus rounds every single week. So we decided to go ahead and bring, in, bring somebody else in here so we can go ahead and let them know that this is not scripted. This is all straight one take. We're not doing this stuff and just restarting everything. Everything is brand new. So I got my boy Angel with me. Y'all may recognize Angel from episode two. So, you know, as our winner. So we got him going in. And as always, man, we got something going on that's completely different for the first time ever. We have a ladies only head to head going on right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys talk real quick. Let them introduce themselves, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, my name's Alyssa. Um, I'm barely started collecting sneakers. I'm like still kind of new. I would be working in a shoe store, and from California, that's pretty much it. My name's Christine Moore. Um, my husband was on the last one of the last episodes, DJ Moore. You see him with all the shoes. Um, we actually met because of shoes. I was out in the club. He saw me with a pair of breads on. That's how we met. Conversation starter. I've been into shoes since I was a kid. I was always a tomboy, so always like sneakers. Always had a fresh pair of sneakers on my feet. Everybody that knows me will say that to this day. Like, no, my husband didn't get me into shoes. I've just been into shoes. I'm surprised DJ was tall enough to get in the club, man. <laughs> he, he, he's back there. He's laughing. That's foul, Josh. That's foul. You know, there's no man, Hey, my club, DJ knows bro. what's good, bro. It's all, it's all love. That's all love, yeah. Yo, DJ, just just let him know, bro, that they, they let people in, and he won't get in if they judge you by your hairline. So you good, bro. Don't worry about it. Uh, hell no, look. Uh. <laughs> Hey, I was show it on camera. That's all the light he needed for for hey, Angel. Look. look. Hey, she's not lying. Though, these, bro. Bro. It looks like a big beam of light hey. coming out this thing. I had to like <laughs> put it on real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. But Drew, before we get crazy, man, let them know what's going on. What we got going? All right. So we are in episode four sneaker wars it is the ladies only edition super super lucky to have you ladies here with us of course once again we're doing three rounds first round is going to be highest resale paid sneaker second round is going to be favorite sneaker third round is going to be most nostalgic sneaker after each round each of the judges will give their opinions we will come to a collective decision on who wins uh after three rounds if we come to a tie we will once again go to a bonus round. Um, each round, you'll have about 15 to 20 seconds to describe your shoe, why it's important, and why you think it should win. Super self-explanatory. Let's get to work, baby. Uh, Angel, you got anything? Josh, you got anything? Are we ready to jump in? Let's get it. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to need you, Josh. I'm going to need you to drop in that ding, ding sound. Round one. Um, so round one, we're going to go with highest resale paid sneakers. Hey, hold on, but when, guess, you, Drew, when you flip this coin, somebody needs to call it because we've had every episode, nobody's called anything. I feel like that's like a thing, though. You know what I mean? Like, like it's kind of been, all right, so Miss Moore called in the air. Tails never fails. All right, it's Tails. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Miss Moore, it's up to you. Who you want to go first? You can go ahead and go. All right, you got called out. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. You, is Lawson your husband or your boyfriend? What is he? He's my boyfriend. Uh, we have a son together. We've been together for seven years. Sugar daddy. And so, <laughs> so I've never met somebody that smiled more than Lawson. <laughs> and I'm starting to think that you are the reason for it. So you got to have some heat. All right. So it's round one. Highest resale paid sneaker. It's on okay. you. Do your thing. Okay. So my highest resale sneakers would be these. J Belvin. I love my J Ball one. I love one. They're so cute with 
Look at the real spider, please. She knows little, little. I love ones. Uh, that was, it was my first two to start collecting with one. Colors. I, I need bright colors. That's, you know, that's the first thing people see. You want to see it on your feet, pop it out. I just, I wear these nonstop. Nonstop. I wear these. That's crazy. Okay. So we started off with some heat. All right, Miss Moore. It's well, see, you. I'm definitely like I'm so I'm so cheap. I hate to pay resale. I have a price cap. I won't go over that price cap unless definitely it's something that actually needs. My husband's the same way, but my highest paying sneaker was actually for him and not for me. But mine is going to be these one of these two. I'm not too sure which one I Oh. Paid more for, but they're about the same price range. Uh, they're both DS. This was my birthday gift to myself, and then this was just a Mother's Day to myself. Um, but they're both DS. But I don't know which one. They're about the same. I paid about the same price because, like I said, I do have a certain price cap. I won't go over six hundred dollars for a shoe. I haven't even touched that yet. So those are mine. That's the Atmos Animal Print Air Max. I'm. I'm an Air Max person. I love Air Maxes. I like a little bit of diversity. I'm not too big on Yeezys, Adidas, so you won't see that today. Um, I'm like, right now, Air Max is comfort. All right, so that concludes the, the easiness of round one. Um, I'm going to give it to Angel real quick. Let him talk his shit. What, what are you thinking, man? I mean, man, they came out with some good ones. I mean, the Atmos, that right there is like crazy. I've always always wanted that shoe i was never able to to get my hands on any of them because you know how that goes um but even the j balvin like damn like this is crazy they really came with some heat uh was not expecting either of those shoes to come out right off top uh i tried for both of them before like an atmos and the j balvin's didn't get it so even just to see them that's that's crazy that's really crazy um but Round one, y'all are going off of just to be clear, what that shoe is priced at right now on StockX, or just what you paid for it. So that th this one's tough, right? Because usually we go off just resale value. Um, yeah, yeah. What you paid for it? I I think that it's highly weighted one direction on this one, um, mm -hmm. because maybe the other contestants a little more fiscally responsible. <laughs> exactly. But, That's what I'm saying. I, I didn't want to go off. Of just that. <laughs> um. So if we're going strictly off resale value, what do you think, Angel? Oh, it's a tough one. I'm gonna have to give it, and only because at most I've seen different styles. Jay Balvin, I've only seen one. So I'm gonna have to go up because of Jay Balvin, only because it's his only shoe. And right now, yeah. I think that. It a little bit more rare, but that's the only thing. It was really neck and neck. That one was a tough one. Yeah. I, I don't want to judge anymore. How about that? That's hard. <laughs> yeah. it's, hard. <laughs> it's, not, it's not. It's not easy, is it? No. <laughs> it's hard. Um. So, dang. I mean, if if I'm being real, we are going straight off resale. And the second she pulled them out, then one like we knew, like we knew. So I mean I gotta give it to the ones on this one. Um Josh, it's on you. What are you thinking? Hey, I just I just wanna say right now that for her to have that shoe, I'm extremely jealous. Um, just because I will put it out there that Jay Belvin is for him to be able to have his for for him to be able to have a shoe like that and be the like the first Latin artist with a collab shoe with Jordan brand, that says a lot. You know what I mean? So for for our people, for people like, you know, of Latin descent and everything like that, like that's a big deal. So for that shoe to come out and do as well as it did for its first release, I, I can't say nothing more, man, but I would have to honestly agree just going based off of um, resale value. Don't get me wrong. I love Air Maxes and I am the same way as Angel. I tried for both of those and I completely failed. Um, but I also failed on the Balvins as well. There's no room on the shelf for those, but I would have to go with the J Balvin, man. All right. So we got round one going to Alyssa. Um, cool. All right. So now we're on to round two. Round two is is more of like a 
I mean, this is this is kind of where you really show, you know what I mean? You kind of got to flex a little bit. Round three is cool too, but round two is really like where you show your personality, where you show, you know, who you are and what snakes really mean to you. So since Alyssa won round one, right, we're going to have you lead off round two with your favorite sneaker. Uh, you got 15, 20 seconds. Let's see what you got. Come on, like on the spot. I have to change my option. Uh, so my favorite sneaker would be those. The last one. Because they're so comfortable. But yeah, I love these are my first. These are actually a birthday present. So and they were my first pair of resale shoes. So I love them. I love them. Okay, cool, cool. He was our sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's on you. Let's talk. My favorite shoe is the 10. Cherry 10. Uh, I love 10s. I have multiple colorways of them. Uh, it's, my, it's my favorite shoe. A lot of people don't like this, and this is my favorite shoe. All right, Angel, right off the bat, bro. We're going with you. What's good? Why well, I got to go first? <laughs> You're the guest. Okay. Man. You're the guest, Jeff. All right, all right. Okay. Um, first off, I want to say whenever I think of off white and the first shoe I've ever gotten introduced, that's what I think of that presto. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, I remember just being in the store and I, whenever those were even thought of, I was like, there's no way. Like now even designers can have like sneakers is, it, it was, it was crazy. Um, I will also say I am also a sucker for tents. So I like everything from the the Liberties. Um, I have the Chicago tents, so that's one of like the near and dear shoe to my heart. The Chicago tents. I got that shoe by accident, so it made it even better. Um, I went to Phoenix one day. I went into a shoe palace. I didn't know what shoe palace was. I was like, "What is this?" And then they had it on there, and and I copped it. Um, it was crazy. So I'm gonna have to go with the 10 only because that's also my favorite shoe and because i i like when people like what people don't like if that makes exactly. sense yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> so that that's the only reason that's the only reason uh damn these are really hard these are really hard welcome um, to the dark side my guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know it's a lot easier it's a lot harder to just like do this you know um all right so i'm gonna jump in uh I so I like off white. I, if you don't like off, I mean, Bert, I don't know how to whatever, right? So what? Unless I got I. This, oh man, this you is gonna leave tough. it to me. Check this shit. So let me say this, right? I'm gonna say this with my heart. I gotta go with the tens, and let me say why, right? So I, I'm I'm also a sucker for like tens. I I. One, because I'm envious because I got kind of a thick foot, and y'all know that nines and tens are a little slim. Um, and so I can't really rock them like that because I got that little, the boy a little thick. I don't like the fold over joint, you know what I mean? And so um, I, uh, I'm i envious of people who could rock them. And I, I mean, I, I think they look great on feet. I'm not saying the Prestos aren't nasty because that's kind of like, a, that's a kick, you know what I mean? So it's tough, but I, I got to go with the tens. Like, I can't. I can't be like, I, I can't be like the whole, the simp about some off-white joints. Like, I love them, the fly, but I, I got to go with the tens. Oh, there's me. Um, So I want to say real quick, <laughs> shout out to Virgil one time because your boy took that dub this morning on the dunk that just came out. Hey, I knew I you were going to say that. I, I had to, man. I'm going to throw that in there. Review coming soon. When I get them in, it's going down. But... If we're judging off the shoe, man, I hooped the 10 back in school. I had the steel 10s in school. I hooped in those. I had the stealth 10s. I had the Venoms. I had the powder blue 10s. I sold them all because they were all, I, I wore them into the ground. I literally wore them into the ground. The powder blues I sold because I needed the money for them at the time. One of the biggest shoes I regret selling. The steel 10 I regret selling because I went to Phoenix 
and found them in the shoe palace on sale, sitting. So I bought them. And like Angel said, I like shoes that people don't like. So, you know, DJ pulled out the 17 last week, and that was a shoe that nobody likes that I like. So for me, I have to go with the 10. One of the most comfortable shoes I've ever hooped in, one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. It just fits on your foot like a glove, man. It, it's amazing. It's it's. I don't know what it is that went from the the nine technology into the ten, but it was just a completely different comfort factor. So I have to give it to Christine. So in my opinion, Christine took it, especially with that red colorway. I have I in the closet still too. I have stills. I have I have a couple of tens. I like tens. That's my ten, tens are tens are very underrated in my opinion. I feel the same way. Like everybody's like everything. <laughs> That's what you like. I'm like, that's what I like. Everybody either likes the nine or the eleven. Nobody shows ten any love unless it's like a Chicago colorway. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's that's my thing. So, go and see. What's up? Tell me why you can see DJ in the background like loading up boxes and stuff. Like you, it looks like he's <laughs> unloading boxes in the reflection of the. Shoes. No, because he keeps trying to hand me shoes. He wants me to do what he did because I have some off whites too. He's like, "Can't pull off your off white." I'm like, "No, I'm not doing all that." Like, oh, you're gonna give me. I'm he's trying to. I see him moving. I can see him in the reflection of a plastic he, joint, and I'm like, like "You, you should bring that down." Like, hey, he's, 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 he's like, he's showing me he's shoes. A, I'm like, "No, I pulled out my lineup. I'm good over here." Hey, DJ, DJ's like this, bro. He's like, "Hey, yeah, yeah, give." But no, for real. He's like, why didn't you pull out this? And I'm like, I I'm doing what I like. I'm doing what you know what I mean. This, this pertains to me, not him. <laughs> right. Oh, round two. I mean, he also did show half his collection in the second round. So, yeah, yeah, bro, dead ass. He's like, I got this. I got this. I can go with this. He was like, really? hold on, give me a second. <laughs> See, even the sponge um, narrator got tired of waiting for DJ to come back. <laughs> <laughs> round one, Alyssa. Round two, Christine. So we going into round three, one and one. This is so I I'm excited for whenever we have an episode that somebody goes into round one, zero oh and two, or two and zero. Oh. Like I'm I'm very excited um, because that means that we won't have a bonus round. We'll just enjoy the last one. But right now we still going for throats. I mean we going for throats right now. So round three is most nostalgic. Sneaker. This is the sneaker, in your opinion, that no sneaker head could go without. They need to have this in their collection. We've seen anything from 11. Uh, I think that we saw, what was what was episode two? Uh, was it a Yeezy? No, it wasn't a Yeezy. It must have been a, it was a four or cement three. I can't remember. But nonetheless, I mean, this is something that every sneaker head should have. You guys feel co complete the collection. Um, so, Christine, since you won the last round, we're going to go ahead and let you start off the third and final round. Show us what you got. So, mine's going to be Countdown Pack. Hey, what? Those came out, what, 06? Was it 05, 06? 05. The only reason I really know off top is because I was pregnant with my daughter. Ah, okay. 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 Born. Hey. I watched foot action and grabbed them. So, yeah, oh. see, I, was, I, was, I was pretty sure, like 05, 06, somewhere in there. I'm jealous that she oh, has it right now, man. Oh. Oh. Damn, yeah, them joints. Oh, I'm sorry, 2008. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said 05. 2008. Oh, okay. Well, I was completely wrong. It's, it's honestly the 12th for me, too. Damn. Like I said, this is my warm pair of countdown pack. And then, like I said, I grabbed these just to have on the last release. So, All right. Every Wait, so you... You said these are your worn pair, which means you have a not worn pair. Yeah, the one in the box. Those are dead stock. Yeah, the one in the boxes. The twelve isn't. The the eleven uh is. Wow. You have an O eight bread that's dead stock. Yes, sir. And like I said, these are my <laughs> worn pair. You can see the number rubbing off there. That's crazy though. See the... Wow. And then, like I said, yo, I grabbed look, look at Elizabeth. She's got this shit. Look at her. She's like, yo, let me go. She's like, I got done. She's like, I, the damn I'm press done. I should have waited. Done. <laughs> oh, right. she had to do it All like right. that. Wow. Flex, you flex. I could appreciate the flex. That was definitely a more household flex. Um, so this is what we're going to do. 
Alyssa, it's on you. You got to come out swinging because she's going for the neck. I know Lawson's somewhere in the corner smiling, angry. So tell us <laughs> what's happening. Easy slides. Bring them okay. Back. Uh, this is, yeah, he's like, take, do this, do this, you know? Um, it's not, I don't know. I don't know. I have two, but. What up, too? She put out two. She got a whole ass box. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's a Let's women's do, yeah. edition, you know? So yes. I had to bring out my women's women year threes. Those are nasty. I didn't even know you had oh, them. They're so, so cute. They're, they're like, the neutral looks a little, the inside. So nice. I've worn mm. these once. And then oh, so I have my. Lord. I love these. I actually nice bought these do. because I wanted them. I just won one three. It's just like a easy shoe, you know? Everybody needs to have them. Dang. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> okay. So hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Somebody needs to put an okay counter. Like Drew said okay this many times. Okay, listen. First of all, I just want to talk about how unfair the Moore household is. Because every time the contestant pulls out a shoe, she'll just pull out the same shoe. Like, all right, we get it. Okay, we get it. There's no need. Okay, we get it. Okay. No, Secondly, it was a, it was a great shoe. I was I was lucky enough to get access. <laughs> you know DJ threw it to her like alley oop to her, like ah, here. You know what I mean? I'm just like, um, so Angel, I'm not going to judge. You're going to judge first. Um, <laughs> okay. Sorry, does. Think twice before you become a guest judge next time. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I signed up for this. Um, now, I will say this. The three, I have the Black Cement threes. They are very good, in my opinion, wide foot shoe. I can wear those things anywhere. I have, like, a really wide foot. I can't wear certain shoes. 270s even hurt my feet. Uh, don't even put me in a Stan Smith. Like, I'm done, you know. Uh, Prestos, my toes will be doing that. Like, so the threes, <laughs> for real. The threes, I love the threes for that reason. They're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. Um, and then, obviously, here comes the butt. Anytime yeah. you pull out anything countdown, or a raging pull, uh, bull pack, DMP, like, no, like, that's, that's like, the epitome right there. Like, you have to have something like that, which I don't, by the way. Uh, once again, letting you know how much of a L's I take. But, man, and, and, this is also nostalgia, right? When I had my story with my fives, it was because that's the first shoe that I got. Hers, I really like the story of she remembered she was pregnant. You know, she went and got that shoe. It's like it, it touches you um, a certain way. It gives you a good memory. And that's what I feel like these shoes should do. I'm not saying that the threes don't, but I mean, um, that was that's a pretty cool. Like, I pictured it. I pictured her all pregnant going down to the local shoe <laughs> store and just Funny. popping them joints. Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> and for, for her to say these are my worn pair. And flex on us, saying she has a pair that isn't worn. Like she has like three pairs. That did it for me. So I'm gonna have to go go for that pack. That pack right there. All right, all right. So here we go. Right, listen. <laughs> um, Alyssa. First of all, <laughs> I like the colorway of those three. I like the colorway of those ones. You want to know why? Because I'm like a sucker for white kicks that have gray, and I'm a sucker for blue. Blue's my favorite color, right? So here's my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I just have never been able to get over how obsessed I am with Bread 11. Let, so let me explain, right? When I was, when that pack came out, Christine, I was just getting out of high school, 2008, right? And the guy who used to cut my hair, his name was Bubba, he got the pack. And he was cutting my hair one day, 
and he had the pack in his room. He had it opened it, and he had this wall. It was probably like six, six or seven foot, like across, and it was just shoot, shoot. And I saw the pack, and I was like, "Yo, what is that?" And it was literally the first time I fell in love with a kid was when he pulled out that pack and he showed me those shoes. And that's exactly what I just remembered when you pulled out that pack and you showed those shoes. Like there's no, there's no better me- and I. I'm telling you this, like there's no better man, better memory I have of a kick than what you just pulled out. So because of that, that is the definition of nostalgia for me. Like I literally went back to when I was an eighteen year old kid, saw the first pair of kicks that I actually saw. So I I gotta give it to you, hundred percent. Comes down to me. So, them threes, <laughs> the, the threes are just, the three color is fire. The the fact that they gave a shoe store, a local Atlanta shoe store, a collaboration with Jordan Brand after, you know, it's like a mom and pop shop, if I remember correct. Like, it's like, that's what it started off as, like a little shop or whatever, and it turned into what it is now. And for them to be able to do the collab that they were able to do and put out a shoe of the quality that they were able to put out, that's a milestone for a business. You know, being a business owner myself, like, that's something that I can appreciate. That's something that I want to get to my, in my, on my own. You know what I mean? The ones, for me, too, having that all patent leather, that, that's, a, that's just a nasty combination. A Jordan 1 with patent leather, that's ridiculous. I got the fearless ones, and those things still give me goosebumps every time I open the box. But if we're going based off of memories and nostalgia, I will say this. My grandfather is the one that purchased my first pair of Bread 11s. My mom was not going to pay $500 for the, for the pack at the time. The pack was, the, all the packs were going for about $500, still are. And there was no way she was going to spend that much money taking care of two kids being on her own. There's no way. So the 12s for me were, you know, one of those things that I love just because the colorway was so simple. But when it can't, when it comes down to it, you know, my grandpa was the one that he was overseas and he was asking me what I wanted for school. And I told him I wanted some brand new kids. This was my freshman year of high school when the uh, 2012 pair of bread 11s came out. And he was like, he's like, well, send me a picture of the shoes that you want. I sent them to him, and of course, he had to get them for resale, and just like that, man, he, he he ordered them for me overseas. They were shipped to the house, and I felt like a kid on Christmas morning, like, opening that box, and there's nothing. I have a fresh pair of Brent, the, the latest ones that just came out, the, what was it, 2019 pair, 2018, somewhere in there, of mm-hmm. Reds that are still dead stock at my mom's house, so that for me, Alyssa, you are the homie. And you have an amazing collection. <laughs> but if it's based off of nostalgia reasons, Christine takes it for me. Hey, so we're, wait, hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold wait. on. <laughs> so we don't even have to go into a bonus round? Wait, hold on. Christine just won. We can do one for fun? Hey, she wants to go extra round. We can, no, we can do it for fun. Like we can do it. We can still do it. Just if she wants to show anything else in her collection, she can. We can do that. Okay, I, I'm with that. We can. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. Let's do this. I got an idea. Wah, wah, wah. We got So we're gonna do a speed round, right? So I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds to get four of the dopest kicks you think you can grab. And if you can't get four, get three. If you can't get three, get two. Whatever. We're gonna do a speed round. All right. So you're gonna show the kick, couple seconds to explain. Next kick, next kick, next kick, next kick. Hey. Oh, look, at, look at both of them. Look at like, both of them. I'm just going to like, like, look, I'm still <laughs> waiting for another round down here. Whoever's wanting, I'm still waiting. Yo, man. Hey, that's tell me why. Why. That's big why. facts, though. Yeah, hey, DJ remind me of like Mayweather's uncle. He just come in like, I got, you know, you got this, you know. <laughs> He's over here like, hey. I don't know, sh- boxing. He on point. He on oh, point. man. 
Hey, I'm gonna just say this though, for real, for real. DJ is waiting. So anybody that wants to join in, that wants to get in the ring, let me know. DJ still has another no, round in him. So. Hey, we know who DJ needs to go up against. Let's not even, you know, let's just speak go up facts. facts. We know it. Big Mike. I'm calling you out, Mike. Mr. Money Mike. Hey, but you want to know something, though? DJ does not want to go up against Mike. DJ hey, told me no. Then he, then he really may weather. He'd be ducking. Josh, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, I got somebody that will wipe the floor with DJ. Ooh. Look at even his wife looked at me like, excuse me? Yeah, I got someone that's going to give DJ the smoke. All the smoke. Mike don't so want to see wants me. It, Mike don't want to see me. Okay. Can, can I tell, tell DJ, tell DJ that if he really wants to smoke, I bring it to his door. But I don't know if he's gonna like answering that motherfucker. I don't. I just don't think so. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you, so we're gonna get in the group chat. We're gonna figure this out. Oh hell! I already know who he's talking about. Yep. Uh, it's a we might as well just put all three of these motherfuckers in the same room. <laughs> that, no, that would not be fair. up one time. I would like to be in there just to watch, though. Not definitely not a judge for that one. That the judge tough. sucks, huh? <laughs> What's up? Man, I, all, I'm saying, all I'm saying is I got a worthy contestant, and if you really want to smoke, we're gonna bring it to you. I could just play. With some certain things, like I don't know, somebody hey, said, I'm, somebody hey. said something like, um, somebody, oh, yeah. hey, <laughs> listen, listen. All I know is that you you're gonna be thoroughly surprised by the person I bring. It's Elijah. Oh man, look, I'm different. You see this? I'm different. Okay, look, we 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 these DS. I click these. We, we I'm different. Okay, it's this. Let's, let's get back to me. Forget him. I know. I'm about to say, DJ uh, making a hit. Why, why did you guys put the battery in his back? Why did you get him started? To, to be continued. All right. Here we are. Alyssa, thumbs up if you're ready. Christine, thumbs up if you're ready. All right. So since Christine won the last round, you're going to go first. Four sneakers. No more. No less. Um, DJ? You have... Five, yeah, no DJ. Don't be throwing shit at the lady either. Like, here, throw this one. Four sneakers. Three seconds for each sneaker. Five seconds. We'll do five seconds. And the speed round begins now. Machete two. <laughs> Up tempo. Uh, Area seventy two. Kobe. <laughs> Travis Scott Air Max. Oh, wait, hold on. Go back. Hold on. Pause it. Oh, yeah. Damn, I didn't even know that. Holy those are so. Those are so okay. beautiful. Okay, you got yeah. it. Look, I already showed you my four, but of course DJ wants me to show you <laughs> the Area Seventy Two pack. Oh my goodness! All right. Why does Alyssa look like she's ready for this smoke right now? Look at her. I'm new to this new game. I'm new, but like, you know, I don't know. All right. Speed round. Alyssa starts now. Okay. Uh, I like these. Yeah. The three, seven, seven hundred. Okay. Seven hundred. Yeah, there's a hundred. And then, oh, all five. five. Yeah. And then, of course, I'm basic. My dunk. I love dunk. Dang. Can you pull back out those off-white fives real quick? No, I know you probably probably have a pair, but those joints are hard, son. Damn. I'm a, who, everybody who's been watching, everybody's been watching the show. Everybody knows Jose Drew is a sucker for fives. I am a sucker for fives. Especially that fire uh, red, red colorway, man. That fire wet red colorway is. All right. Speed run complete. I can't breathe. Got the COVID. 
All right, Angel. Five seconds. Who you got? Left or right? Who you got? Well, technically, I can't see who's left or right. I have like a different uh, setup, but my bad. Christina, uh, Alyssa. Oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, on that one. Why'd you even have to make a, a bonus? <laughs> no, man, that's crazy. No, women are persuasive, man. They told look, me. Look, I want to say this. First off, I don't even think y'all pulled out a shoe that I even own. <laughs> so that's crazy. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> like, to me, it's like I'm geeking out. Like, that's wild. <laughs> Goes no, to show. Funny. You think you got big guns? There's someone out there with bigger guns, always, which yeah, is cool. Like this is cool. <laughs> um, so for that, I mean, I'm gonna have to take the chicken route, but I'm gonna say both of you are winners to me because you're both better than me. So I give y'all both the queen. You laid down in front uh, of the car, dog, and had them run you over. Straight up. Uh, we ain't back on the show. He's done. <laughs> play the play, yeah, play, the, play the Grammy music right now. Play the Grammy music in the edit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be a buck. I'm gonna be a buck fifty. Uh, Christine had some kicks, yo. She had some kicks. She had some kicks. She had some kicks. But I really just like the list of speed round better. I don't know. I like dunks. I love fives. Like I don't. I don't know that 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 pair that specific pair of fives that you pulled out. I I would do unforgivable things for that pair. Of fives. So, <laughs> I I'm sorry, uh, Alyssa. You got that in my opinion. Um, yeah, Christine, good job. Thanks for showing us up. All right, Josh, I'm, don't cry in the car. I'm gonna cry in the car, dog. Um, so let's just let's just say this. Um, five seconds. Ladies, I appreciate y'all for coming on here because this was what I really, really was looking forward to. Y'all brought some, y'all brought heat. Both y'all did. Y'all both lived up to it. We've been planning this for two weeks. If y'all don't know, we pretty much record every, almost every two weeks for the most part. Um, but it's, I couldn't have pictured this episode going any better just because y'all both kept up. Y'all were taking shots. Y'all were giving them out. I honestly have to give it to the person that I think that had, in my mind, my favorites right now. Christine had old kicks that I really enjoyed. But, again, I can't wear a lot of them. Um, but I have to give it to Alyssa just because the off-white fives, I know she hasn't worn them yet. So. Done. She's not worn those, so I, like, at all. Like, those things are still sitting at home, sitting on the shelf somewhere. Like, yeah, look. I just want to touch it. How, how long have you been uh, into shoes, collecting shoes? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? What yeah. made you get into yeah, it? Yeah, I've been, well, I started working at camps, and then from there, I started to the foot action. So I work at foot action now, but, you know, just shoes, you're around them all day, you know, you want to wear what's, what's cool, what's, you know, you want to be fitted, basically. And Lawson, Lawson loved, like, shoes before he even got into shoes, you know, he never really had the gut to buy them, and then we worked at a shoe store and it happened. So I just figured I'd ask, you said you were new into the shoes, and like I said, I've just been doing it, I have a I've been doing it since I was young. Like, I've always been known to have a first pair of kicks on. But automatically, well, my husband, everybody thinks he got me into shoes just because most guys will get their girlfriend into shoes. And I used to stand out there in lines for him, like, or with him, because he was in the military. So they'd be like, oh, you're here for shoes. I'm going to be here for, for both of us. Hey, honestly, that was, like, the best time, though, for real. I'd take waiting outside at 4 a.m., then this damn raffles and all this bullshit that would be going on now. Definitely. It was fun. Did it snow? Did it rain? Did it in whatever weather you needed the shoe? You, you're going to stand there. Oh, hell yeah.
And that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that's why I really enjoy talking to people and hearing the stories because, you know, we get to hear people with the same story that we had, that we started with, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like waking up at 4 a.m. and waiting outside the mall and pushing people out the way and, you know, just trying not to start fights with people because they want to be acting crazy and just all kinds of stuff that be going on when it comes to shoes. Like sneakers is not as easy as it, it hasn't always been as easy as it is now. And this is easy compared to what we went through. Definitely. So, I mean, you know, I'm just still blown away, man. <laughs> well, look, uh, before I let Josh end this, Christine, Alyssa, I want to tell you guys, one, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you guys for, for doing this with us. And honestly, thank you guys for putting such a good image for women when it comes to speakers because – I do feel like a lot of people associate a woman sneakerhead or a female sneakerhead with, oh, women must collect kicks. And, like, I really just think that both of you guys have a lot of passion for shoes as well as confidence when it comes to talking about them. And I just – I applaud you guys. Thank you guys for putting such a good image to it, and I think it needs more of it. Um, Angel, thank you for being our guest judge. Um, DJ, thank you for being our guest commentator, backslash <laughs> peanut gallery. And uh, lastly, uh, Josh, thank you for allowing me to do this every time. Um, I'll let you end it out. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you for having us. Hey, man. Um, real quick, Angel, you want to say anything before we get out of here? Yeah, I want to say uh, two things. Number one is I love how I hear the stories of how people begin with sneakerhead and it starts one of two ways. Either they they liked them from the beginning and they grew up with them, or they were at a shoe store and they fell in love with them, which shows that, I mean, no, no matter how you get there, at the end of the day, you just somehow get there and respect it and love it. And if that is your, your, um, your collection in two years, I'm scared to see what it's going to look like in two more years. So that's going to be great. That's going to be great. I mean, be, just keep going. Yeah. Either one. Keep going, keep going. And then the last thing I want to say is, obviously, I appreciate you bringing me on um, and torturing me as being a judge. And uh, can we just cut the video with, like, a snippet of Lawson just smiling? Because I, I miss it. I mean, I want to see it. <laughs> Where's Lawson at? I've like, been here one time. <laughs> Everybody do the Lawson on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh man! Well, he's gonna have to get in here before we end this, so he needs to hurry up. Yeah, he said he's, he's, he's coming. He's coming. You gotta find a hat, you know. Oh god! <laughs> my boy's butt like... naked from the waist down right now. <laughs> <laughs> Booty you... cheeks are out. Hey, he's straight up cheeks from the waist down, bro. Cheeks, <laughs> bro, clapping. Air <laughs> okay, oh, flow, my G. There he is. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <let's>... <laughs> I don't know. Look, look, look. He's like, I don't know. What's up? I have enjoyed just this guy's entity so much. Like, his, just his presence makes this video so much better. We we need to somehow make an entity of Lawson smiling and sell it. Like, <laughs> get out. That's funny, man. Hey, my, yeah, I'm about to give my mom a shout out for giving me the braces to have a good smile. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, you want to say anything? Um, just thank y'all for having me. You know, I like showing people my shoes. You know what I have, like what he said, two years. Like I got pretty good kicks, you know. Um, but not compared to you. You have like years worth of like. You just collect, collect, but, you know, I'll get there. I'll get there. You know, like, my years of what I'm collecting now will be soon what you are, you know? So, thank you all. Well, like I said, definitely over the years, I've let go, got rid of shoes, downsized, went back, we bought some shoes, and uh, it just, you know what I mean? It's a hard habit to kick. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you try to stay away, you're like, I'm going to cut back. No, it, it drags you back in little by little. You see a shoe, you're like, oh, I need it. Like, Is there anything you want to say before we get up out of here? No, just that. Like I said, I appreciate you guys having us. Um, do, do you do you all have uh, Instagram? I know I follow you, Josh. 
that way I can follow you guys. I like to see everybody's shoes on feeds and yeah, yeah. In the in the group text, we'll go ahead and drop. Y'all want to just go ahead and just drop everybody's, you know, in the group text. I'll drop everybody's right here on this video as well, so everybody watching can go ahead and follow us, check everything out. You know what I'm saying? But one more time, I want to thank Drew for always, you know, have, being down to do this with me. Um, Angel, thank you for being a guest judge. It's not as easy as we make it seem on here. It yep. is probably the hardest thing to judge these things, especially when you're a sneakerhead. It sucks. Alyssa, Christine. You know, my man Smiley Lawson, um, you know, DJ behind the camera. I appreciate y'all for hopping on and just, you know what I'm saying, putting on for, for uh, small town sneakerheads, man, collectors, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like Drew said, y'all put on for the women. A lot of people look at only celebrities as having big collections, but it takes, you know, homegrown ladies as well, you know, to keep this going. So I appreciate y'all for hopping on. I appreciate y'all for, you know, doing this for me, doing this for everybody, doing this for the community. We continue in and we're gonna keep it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? So this has been episode four. Again, I appreciate y'all. If y'all have not subscribed to the channel, do that right now. Like this video, throw that up. Get ready for week number five, episode five coming soon. If you have the guts and you don't wanna join in, let me know in the comments down below. We have a matchup. DJ wants to go against somebody. Drew's gonna bring somebody in. We don't know who the person is. I'm going to put that thing. Who's that Pokemon? And we're not going to know who it is. And, you know, we're going to go through there, man. But, again, thank you guys for the good times, good vibes, and all, all over just, you know, just fun. But until then, y'all, we are out. I will see you guys in the next episode. We out.